In our body, we have a compliment system. And I didn't say compliment like, oh, your hair's nice. No, a complement system. And a complement is something that adds to or completes something. And our complement system adds to and completes our immune system. Our complement system is made up of proteins made from our liver that kind of circulates our blood. And whenever we encounter some foreign obstacle or particle or pathogen, it springs into action. It helps coat this pathogen and tells our immune cells to come over here and engulf it. We call that opsonization. It can also puncture holes in that pathogen, kind of like puncturing a hole in a, in a boat, and it can destroy that pathogen. It's also important for our general immune system. Function. So our complement system is very important in that regards. You can have disorders of your complement system, and if you have low complements, you can imagine you get recurrent infections. And there are also autoimmune disorders dealing with our complement system. Now, who discovered the complement system? Enter Jules Bourdais. Now, Jules Bourdais was a Belgian doctor, born in 18. 70. His main research focus was on immunology or study of the immune system, fitting, and microbiology or study of microorganisms. Now at that time, the development of vaccines and the study of antibodies was all the rage. And antibodies were the known main player in our immune system. And if we were to discover something else in our immune system that played a role, that'd be quite a discovery. And that's exactly what Bourdais did. And in Bourdais' lab, he would be working with cute little guinea pigs and study their antibodies. He would take serum from guinea pigs, which is basically blood with all the cells removed. So the only thing left is proteins like your antibodies. He would take the serum and then mix it with bacteria. And he thought, well, the antibodies would destroy the bacteria. And of course he was right. But then he noticed something peculiar one day. When he heated that serum up to 55 degrees Celsius, or when he aged that serum, all of a sudden it lost its antibacterial effect. Now we, at that time, already knew that if you heat antibodies to 55 degrees Celsius or you age it, shouldn't do anything. Your antibodies are strong enough to survive that. It should still be effective. The serum should still be effective. Unless there was something else in there that was heat sensitive, that was sensitive to aging. And that's something else, of course, we now know as complements. So he was the first one to discover complements. Now he also made other discoveries in medicine, he discovered a causative agent of whooping cough after his daughter got whooping cough. It's actually named after him, Bordet telepertussis. But that's not what he won the Nobel Prize for. For his work in complements and the complement system, he will win the Nobel Prize in 1919. That's the story of Bordet, that's the story of the complement system and its function. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button. If you want to see more of this series, hit subscribe or click here for more of this series. Thanks.